in number 5, the diagram on the right shows a curve that passes through point A, 1, negative 1. So, this is point A, 1, negative 1. Given the gradient function of the curve is this one. So, we see here gradient function. So, it's given that dy over dx is equal to 3x squared minus 8x. Find the equation of the curve. So, we see here equation means y is equal to y, right? So, we see here equation y is equal to fx. So, we have dy over dx. So, we can find y by using this integration. y is equal to integration of 3x squared minus 8x dx. So, integration. So, first step is that you add power plus 1. And then we divide power. Add power by 1 and then we divide the power after we add. So here, 3 is constant, so just let it be. And then we have x square. So add the power with 1, so we get 2 plus 1 is 3. Divided with the power, divide with 3. So here, minus 8 is constant, so just let it be. And then we take a look at x. So x is equal to, x is power of 1, right, actually. So 1 plus 1 is x power of 2, divided by 2. So add power, divide with power, and after we settle with everything, we add a constant. Because we know that when we differentiate the constant, so y is equal to 6, we know that dy over dx is equal to 0. So we know that any constant, when we differentiate, we get 0. We cannot see it. So we just add a constant, which we don't know uh, what is the number before it becomes 0. So just let it be like this first. So this one, 3 and 3. 8 and 2. So we can see here y is equal to this one is x cubed minus 4x squared plus c. Question we need to find what is c. So we have coordinate a is 1, negative 1. When x is equal to 1, y is negative 1. So we see here when we substitute y and x, we can get what is our c. So here y is equal to negative 1, right? So negative 1 is equal to x is equal to 1. So 1 cubed minus 4, 1 squared plus c. Negative 1 is equal to 1 minus 4 plus c. Negative 1 is equal to negative 3 plus c. So c is equal to... So we bring negative 3 to the left. So we get negative 1 plus 3, right? So negative will become positive. So here we get 2. So now we can uh, substitute C inside here. So Y is equal to X cubed minus 4X square plus 2. So this is the equation of the curve. 6. It is given that the gradient of normal of to a curve at one point is this one. If the curve passes through this one, find the equation of the curve. So you must be careful with gradient of normal. So, normally, from y, we get dy over dx. This is tangent, right? This is tangent. So, when we say that normal, that means that it is perpendicular. Perpendicular. Or we can say that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. We learn it in form 4 at math. So, when we have two lines which is perpendicular, then, if you have the gradient m1, you have the gradient m2, you multiply these two, you get negative 1. So, here, dy over dx is the gradient of tangent. So, we see here, if you want to integrate y, we need to know what is the gradient of tangent. So, we see here, the gradient of normal is this 1. So, gradient of tangent, so we know that this one, 6x minus 2, Time m2 is equal to negative 1. So you see here, this is gradient of normal. Time gradient of tangent is equal to negative 1. Because you see here, this one is simple, so we can directly get it, right? So here, we get m2 divided by 6x minus 2 is equal to negative 1. So here, m2 is equal to negative 6x minus 2. So this is our gradient of tangent. So, this is our dy over dx. So, dy over dx is equal to negative 6x minus 2.
So we see here dy over dx is this one. So we see here if the curve passes through this point, find the equation of the curve. So equation we know y. So to get y, we need to integrate negative 6x minus 2 dx. So we can take out negative first or you can directly multiply. You can do either both. So if you multiply directly, you see here you get uh, negative 6x plus 2 right negative 6x to dx so what happen if if you take out after you integrate you need to multiply with the negative back so quite longer lah so this one is easier so we see here we have this one so now we can integrate so y is equal to so integrate uh, we add the power with one and divide with the power so we have negative 6 here so we have x x is equal to x power of 1 so at 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by the power so plus 2 so we see here if we don't have x we will add x and then after we finish everything we add c which is a constant so here we get negative 3x squared plus 2x plus c. So this is our equation. But then we see here equation. We don't need. Uh, we need to find what is c. So we are given coordinate which is x and y of 2 2. So we see here when we substitute y and x, we can directly get what is our c. So here we have y is equal to negative 3x squared plus 2x plus c, right? So here when y is equal to 2, negative 3, x is equal to also 2, plus 2, 2, plus c. So we just substitute y and x. So 2 is equal to negative 3, 4, plus 4, plus c. 2 is equal to negative 12, plus 4, plus c. So 2 is equal to negative 12, plus 4 is negative 8, plus c. So c is equal to, so we bring 8. To the left, we get 2 plus 8, which is equal to 10. Now, we know it, what is our C, so we can substitute. So, the equation for that curve, Y is equal to negative 3X squared plus 2X and C is plus 10.